Hello, I'm Gavin Bates, Community and Communications Manager at Workplace Law, with the latest news and cases in health and safety, human resources and the environment. Take-up for the Fit for Work pilot programme has been significantly lower than expected, according to a report by the Department for Work and Pensions. Following Dame Carol Black's review of the health of Britain's working age population in 2008, 11 fit-for-work service pilots were launched throughout Great Britain. However, by the end of March 2011, only around 40% of the expected number had taken up the service. Two companies have been fined after a demolition worker was engulfed in flames when he cut through a live 11,000 volt cable at an electricity substation. Neither of the two companies had made adequate checks to ensure that the power supply to the cable had been terminated. Government proposals to introduce fees for those bringing claims in employment tribunals and the Employment Appeal Tribunal could backfire, the Employment Lawyers Association has warned. The ELA said that whichever option the government chooses to adopt, its twin aims of massively reducing the cost of running the tribunals while maintaining access would be defeated. According to the latest reports, there has been limited progress towards increasing the number of women on company boards. Just one in seven board members at Europe's top firms is a woman, according to the European Commission, which has launched a public consultation seeking views on possible EU action. UK organisations could save over £400 million a year by taking simple, low-cost actions to improve the efficiency of their hot water boilers, according to new guidance published by the Carbon Trust. The guidance outlines how organisations can make immediate energy savings through better maintenance and low-cost improvements. And finally, Workplace Law has entered a team in this year's London to Cambridge bike ride, which takes place on Sunday the 22nd of July. If you would like to join us for the ride or would like more information then please email Parani Siva or call her on 01223 431 073.